Come in. Sit down. I understand you represent your truck's telematics platform. Yeah, Doc. I, I, I get kind of nervous when I take tests. I, I already had a telematics test this year, but I, I, I don't think I've ever had one Reaction of time is a factor in this, so please pay attention. Now, I understand you help alert drivers and fleet managers when something goes wrong with the tractor, correct? Yeah, and, and I'm, I'm good at it, too. Is this a test? Not yet. I'm just warming you up. Now, the truck is moving along in the desert when you... Is, is, is this the test now? Yes. The truck is moving along in the desert when you notice the trailer is sending you a fault code. The trailer is crying out for help, but you're not helping. Why is that, Leon? It's a test, Leon, designed to provoke an emotional response. An emotional response? I'll give you an emotional response. Wait, wait! I was just trying to figure out why you don't report the telematics for the trailer, too. Uh, oh. I see. Well, well, well sir, you, you want my brother. Two different guys, but our, our data shows up in the same dashboard. Let me introduce you. Let's meet over lunch. You ever had Diamond Deli? No. Let's go. Smart trailers are making fleets well, smarter, but the term is relatively new. It's safe to say that most fleet managers are used to the capabilities of truck telematics, but they may not be as familiar with trailer telematics, which are newer, but are starting to catch up to the capabilities of their tractor telematics brethren. At the end of the day, it's about cost. In the past, OEMs weren't looking to integrate the sensors from the components of the trailer until there was a clear ROI that is present for fleets. While it may seem simple to connect sensors to any number of functional items, conditioning those signals into something meaningful takes cost and effort. And if those signals don't predict failures, the ROI just isn't going to be there for some time. But the times, they are a changing and today's smart trailers not only demonstrate far greater ROI than even just a few years ago, they're more capable than ever. To tell us more about this smart trailer revolution we've found ourselves in, I've invited Matthew Leffler, Vice President of Trailer Solutions for the Smart Trailer Sharing Platform, VHub, onto the show. Matthew, it's great to have you on. Thank you so much, David. It's a great pleasure to be here. So let's start here. What makes a smart trailer smart? And what can fleets expect from them? So a smart trailer is a system of sensors that communicate information about that trailer back to somebody. Those sensors can be things like telemetry, location, position, and direction. It can be things like fault codes, whether the lights are out or the ABS module isn't working properly. Ultimately, it is there to help solve problems that fleets have. And one of those problems is trying to find lost trailers. Before this call, I talked with my father. He worked at Roadway for many years. And at the beginning of every new year, the entire company would go out and look for every single trailer in their inventory. Technology has made things like that no longer necessary. I know a lot of fleets can relate to that. So having all of this data is great, but how can fleets take advantage of trailer telematics without overburdening the organization sifting through data all day? In terms of how technology of the trailer sensors can bring value to a fleet, it really depends on the use case. For example, having the ability to understand the temperature inside of a trailer makes a lot of sense for a refrigerated asset. It doesn't really matter for a dry van. And so understanding what you're trying to measure and what problems you're solving for are the really key ways to ultimately find value in the Internet of Things when it comes to connected trailers. Ultimately, what we're trying to do is find ways to bring visibility and data to an entire ecosystem. And that's what the smart trailer hopes to achieve. When it comes to data aggregation, the biggest thing now is not to have separate dashboards for every single module on your equipment, but to have one cohesive view of that asset in real time, communicating information that's actionable. Actionable insights, that makes complete sense. But at the end of the day, when it comes to telematics, it seems like sometimes it can be difficult to know the best way to improve ROI based on the data in front of us. So in your opinion, is there an aspect of smart trailer technology that can be extremely useful to fleets, but one that few fleets are taking advantage of? With less than 20% of them with any sort of connected device, 
the vast majority of connected devices are really just focusing on telemetry. Where is the asset? But in maintenance, the things that we care about are the BLTs, brakes, lights, tires. Technology inside these sensors can tell you what is the tire pressure monitoring system doing. If you have tires that are underinflated, you might be having a problem with fuel economy. If you can know if a light is out before the driver shows up, you have the ability to re reduce the delays that happen. And ultimately, what we're trying to do is find ways to benefit drivers to better perform what they're already doing, trying to anticipate things that are, could fail before someone has to wait for it to be repaired. So what can we expect to see from smart trailers in the next five to 10 years? I see a path of trailers as a service, the ability for an asset owner to simply not have to own the trailer, but to manage these connected devices. If we use a number of 5 million trailers in North America, imagine if they were efficiently routed and optimized based on all of the types of data we are collecting. It might be the case that you don't need 5 million trailers. Maybe you need 3 million or 4 million. It is incredible what we're going to find, but we're never going to know what that future looks like until more assets are connected into the system. It is going to be an incredible next five to 10 years. And the innovation in trailers is something that cannot be overstated. The, the, the need of people to know, where is my stuff? It's inside that box. And inside that box has every single thing that you might buy. Ultimately, dr truck driving is the most common profession in over 35 states. And trailers are part of our supply chain that has not been made smart but it's getting smarter every day. And the opportunity to drive value through data is going to be amazing. Wow. Thanks, Matthew. You make a lot of great points and I am really looking forward to the future that you are painting for us. Appreciate your time. Thank you so much, Dave. Well, you have a great day. It's again, a huge honor to work with you. I appreciate it. For more trucking equipment content, head over to fleetequipmentmag.com. Thanks for watching. Thank you.